Hello, and welcome to the RoboJackets Eagle tutorial video series. These videos will serve as a reference as you learn about Eagle, a printed circuit board design software, and apply it as a member of one of our robotics teams. In this video, we will provide a brief overview of printed circuit boards and Eagle's features. Following videos in the series will go into more details about how to use each of those features. Eagle is a computer-aided design software that we use in RoboJackets to design printed circuit boards. It is free for educational use and can be downloaded from the link here. In addition, please follow the other link here to set up an Autodesk student account to use to log into Eagle. You may have seen or heard of a breadboard before. To sum them up, they are a tool that allows easy connection of components to make circuits using holes connected as shown here. They are good for quick or simple circuits, but in a more complicated circuit, they can easily become unmanageable and unreliable. At RoboJackets, we design our own printed circuit boards, also known as PCBs, which connect the components we need according to our own use cases. Our PCBs generally combine microcontrollers, sensors, power supplies, and other components based on their application. We design these PCBs and purchase them from a fabrication service like AltPCB or EuroCircuit, who manufactures unpopulated boards like you can see here. Then, we solder components onto them to make it work. A PCB contains multiple different layers, at the core is FR4, which is a fiberglass plate that gives it structure. Above and below it is copper, which is what conducts the electricity. A two-layer board refers to two layers of copper around the FR4. The copper and FR4 is covered by solder mask, which is a material that repels solder. Certain parts of the copper have no solder mask on them. These are pads, which are the area you need to solder your components to. You also have holes in the board called vias, which allow signals to go between different layers. Finally, the silkscreen is a layer of labels and markings you can put above the solder mask to make the boards easier to understand. Before we even get to Eagle, it is a good idea to get an idea of what your circuit will be like through whiteboarding, hand-drawn schematics, and prototypes with breadboards. Once you know what your circuit needs to do, you can start making the schematic. This is an Eagle schematic of an existing RJ project. In the schematic, we diagram the connections between various component symbols. For example, this is a microcontroller which is connected to various input-output pins, which it uses to read and write data. These connections between parts are represented by lines called nets. Think of them like wires between parts on a breadboard. While the schematic represents connections between various components on the circuit, the board layout represents physical location of components on the board, as well as the copper that actually connects them. By pressing the SEH to BRD button, you can switch from the schematic view to the board view. This board contains component footprints laid out on the surface of the board. Each of these footprints represents one of the parts you see in the schematic. In addition, the board has traces, which are lines of copper that connect the components together and physically represent the nets from before. This is what an Eagle project directory will look like. Here we have a SCH file for the schematic, a BRD file for the board layout, and the third Eagle file type, the library or LBR file. Remember those parts and footprints we mentioned earlier? Parts and footprints are stored and linked together through library files. Eagle gives you many library files by default, but as we use many different devices, we often have to download or make our own library files consisting of custom parts and footprints. This is the RJ standard library, which we'll explain in a future video. If you open an Eagle file in a text editor, you will notice something interesting. Eagle files are really XML, which means we can use Git, a version control system, to keep track of changes in our Eagle files. If you want to learn more about that, Click the link here. Here is the RoboJackets GitHub. Each of our teams has a repository for their electrical designs. Anyone can clone these to add their own computer. If you want to edit or add to these designs, you can make a branch of the project and make whatever changes you want. Once we manufacture the boards, we merge the branch back into the master project. Now that you are familiar with the various features of Eagle, the next video will go into more depth about parts and libraries so you can make your own.